Hey guys, Trev Kudrin here today, everyone. we're back with Modan Zushi, episode 8 of season 2. I thought last episode was the last episode, because when I was watching it, it only had 7 episodes. I was informed by Coco that there is one more episode, and I am so glad, because I thought it ended off a bit a bit weird for season 2 to end off. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I've got another episode, but then again, I've got to go through, I've really got to re-go really through the motions now of um, trying to accept that this is the last episode for a while, so yeah, that's sort of a downside. Um... Last episode was absolutely fantastic. We got the full history of what happened. Most pretty much, I don't think it's left out too much now. But we pretty much got the full history of what happened to Wen Ning and Wen is it Wen Quinn? Um, Best girl was now officially dead. Um, she got burnt alive, and I'm fucking heartbroken by the fact they killed her off like that. Uh, Wen Ning, um, they they obviously took him. Um, someone messed with him. Yeah, we got we got how pretty much his sister die. We pretty much see where Cheng's going now. The only thing I was saying that the only people who know about the amulet was for two of people, was it? Um, I don't I don't see it ever being Cheng, but yeah. Um, the betrayal. Oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> we lost we lost such good people. And seeing how it all actually went down, I don't blame Wei at all. But I'm glad how they did it. I wasn't sure how they would have done it without making Wei blameless. Don't get me wrong, he had the amulet and stuff like that, but obviously someone was messing with him. Messing with the amulet, fucking with that, which caused all of it. So otherwise I think it would have been alright. Yeah, I think it generally would have the things would have been alright if someone were tampering, but yeah, they just made it made him pretty much go go berserk, kill a lot of kill some important people to him. That was two two really important deaths. And yeah, I could just imagine the regret. Now after getting that full pass, all I can think of is the regret and the blood that way he's been carrying around this whole time when he's been revived. And just like when you go from episode one, who would have thought he had such a deep and complex past? And that's what I love about this show. Yeah, I'm gonna go through my thank yous again that I did. So um that I did last episode. But guys, thank you for supporting this series, either on Patreon, YouTube, with a like, with a comment. You've been one of the best fan bases I've experienced on YouTube. You're all been a pleasure to interact with no one's ever been rude you've just all been fantastic so especially because i was so fucking dumb in the earlier episodes as well when i didn't fully understand it until i rewatched like episode 10 um you guys when i rewatched um we watched first two episodes again you guys stuck with me you never really complained you never really spoil anything you just let me get on with it and then figure it out by myself which a lot of fan bases can't do they just accept you have to know there and then what's going on if you don't you're just dumb but you guys were really nice and accepting You've been supporting these with the likes massively. The fact it's still the fact it's been so long and it still retains similar likes to when it first started is fantastic. Um, anyone who supported me on Patreon throughout this series, this is probably your last month with me. Um, as this ends now, and I want to thank you for just supporting me for the, over these what three months of doing Modan Zushi on Patreon. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, um, hopefully the uncle hopefully i did it hopefully i was on point with you all the time you were never disappointed but yeah uh thank you for your your, ta your time with basically with my channel and everyone and yeah i'm looking forward to doing more dong what so if you've got any suggestions feel free to suggest i'm really looking forward to doing the new his new series he's going to do i might do the chibi version for fun i'm not sure yet and um, when that's out i so probably might just because i like the interactions between the characters anyway even if they are in chibi i think it could still be a lot of fun and i really want to see if little apples in it but yeah Thanks everyone, and yeah, this is the last time, but pray for Little Apple until season three. Bye. Oh no, they're gonna get a Cornetto advert for ages. Oh, I'm gonna miss this so much. I've enjoyed watching this every week. I know a lot of people say, I know a lot of people say, oh, how do you not just spam through the series? But I love having that, one thing I love about doing reactions I love going through, I don't look, don't get me wrong, I love going through episodes as quick as possible as well. When I watch a series by myself, I fly through a series, like, I can get through a series, like, a, couple, like a day or two. But when, when I started doing reactions, I started to really appreciate doing anime weekly. There's this weird excitement feeling I get that you only get when you watch, because I like watching seasonal anime. It's just like, when you finish an episode, it's like, oh, mate, I can't wait for next week when I get to watch that next episode. And it feels like it lasts longer as well. It just feels like more of an adventure than if I just do it all in two days and then I'm just like, oh, it's over. Like, I don't get me wrong, I still enjoy it just as much, but I don't know. It's a, it's a weird feeling. Mate, that must be such a burden off his soldier. I couldn't imagine how much a burden that is off the right way. 
Let them go. It's still gonna feel guilt, obviously. Like the music, <laughs> broken down that situation with ease. Okay, I think the save has got some history. <laughs> what a mistake! <laughs> oh, he did not fake Man's a master of resentful energy. That would make people more curious, though. He's from the Jin clan. Jin clan. Jin. I'm only saying that because it got a bit purple. Mm. Oh, this is such a good duo. I love this whole duo of stuff. This has been the greatest thing of the season. Uh, you guys stand no chance against my boy, Wei. Oh, assassination. <laughs> oh, mate. The second brother, the third brother. Oh, boy. They're bringing in the family. Stitching bodies. Look how cleverly weaving in something was bigger, a bigger threat within the past in the story. I was hoping he was going to be behind it. <laughs> Lang Zang bailing him. Surely everyone's super suspicious about him at this point. <laughs> oh! Don't feel like that happened. Do you want your best? Oh! Oh, my heart! <laughs> oh, I love them together. This is one of the biggest perks of season two. Oh, wait, transform the energy of it. There's a lot going on in this episode, aren't they? They're fucking dumping loads of information. <laughs> Such a broad, how can we find anything? I love his puffy cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
tiempos. The man ended his own life. Maybe. Did he actually? Mm, I don't know. That'd be hard to see him doing that. I guess the amount of regret, though, you would be through in guilt. Not if I'm overlooking, reading into that situation too much. Oh, I'm liking this song. Fuck me, this is a good song. Beautiful friendship from the start. <laughs> oh, well, that was a bad place to end. After credit life. You're gonna figure out what Mo did. Hmm. This is definitely going to be an interesting season two. I do like up the setup though. Um, they did dump a lot of information for me to follow there. So if anyone wants to clarify. I probably need to rewatch that episode again. I just felt like I dropped a lot of bombshells. Bombshells there. Am I meant to recognise the guy at the end? I don't recognise him. Is he one of the? He's from. Looks like he's from the the, the Lang Clan. But yes, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen slowly. I'm guessing where he killed himself. I'm guessing that's what he was trying to imply. I won't be. Um, I don't know if I'm looking. Like I said, I don't know if I'm looking into that too much. Other than that, I just can't complain about this show. It's been a fantastic ride. I have got a prediction that I feel like Jiang Jiang Chang is going to have like a sacrificial death. I feel like to, he's going to have like a little redemption at the end where he understand maybe he understands everything that sacrifices if sacrifices himself. I don't know. I was just thinking that at the end of the episode. I was like, would he do that? Because I really want to see the old Jiang Chang back. Um, because yeah, Chang Chang's spiral is really it's probably one of the saddest in the series really he's had it hard and you sort of he's one of those where you sort of really understand how he's turned out and i just wanted to see him back how he was um i've got no f like i said that episode was a bit bit confusing to me i probably need to rewatch it again like i said so i'm not got too much to comment on that episode specifically but season two as a whole i definitely enjoyed it season one i was obviously probably i prefer season one but season two was definitely good i really enjoyed I really enjoyed Lang Zhang and Wei hanging out. That was some of the f best shit of the series. I loved it. Every moment they had together, and it was nice to see them together more. Which we got to see them in season one, but I just felt like this season we really got to see them together more. I like adding, adding more complicated layers to the past as well by adding out this third party who's probably caused a lot of the shit. And I bet it was such a relief to find out. Um, learning more about Wen Ning and uh, learning more about what happened after the war and. Um, the war is fascinating I, I i i actually like the time jumps because it just kept you questioning things um so you're just like oh cool, what's this what's that um overall i did give a lot of my thoughts in the last episode which i thought was the the last episode so i don't really want to repeat myself but overall so if you want my full review i sort of gave one in episode seven but overall been a fantastic series um art style was beautiful characters were beautiful and layered um especially way way was the star of this show no doubt apart from little apple of course um I love them. I just really wish we got to actually see the relationship between Wei and Lang Zhang because it would have just benefited the story. It's a shame you have to censor that. Uh, action was beautiful. Uh, it was just overall just a beautiful series and it's just felt like one hell of a journey and I've enjoyed every minute of it. But guys, thank you for supporting this series. I hope you guys subscribe and stick around for when season three is out. I look forward to joining you in season three, guys. I really enjoyed my first ever dog war adventure. It was fantastic and I have a bet and I've got, I look forward to seeing more from China. Peace.